Hey there folks, it's Antar and I'm back with a new OU battle. My opponent today is Google Knight of Smogon. He has a YouTube channel. I put the name of it in the description and the annotations and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm calling him Google Knight because that's an awesome name. So he has a Deoxys S. This battle was about a month ago, well before Deoxys S went Uber. And frankly, I don't know that it really needed to go Uber. Um, I mean, I never have had a problem with it, but then again, I run Taunters, uh, and also I didn't really think that Excadrill needed to go Uber either, but whatever. Um, I have taunted, he printed the taunt, and so switched, switched in his Conkeldur, um, who might actually be banded, uh, based on the amount of damage that's doing, considering I am, my Jirachi, who I switched out, is... Uh, bold, max HP, max defense. Anyway, predicting the switch here, I go for the Calm Mind, and I'm like, haha, this is excellent, I get a chance to use Thunderbolt, which I just put on this set, except for the fact that after I put Thunderbolt on, I restarted my DS and I'd forgotten to save, and so it still has the flash cannon, I'm like, crap, so I'm forced to switch out. I promise you from now on, anytime you see that Jirachi, it will have Thunderbolt and not Flash Cannon, oh god, okay, anyway, get a bit of Hex here, his Fire Blast misses, I go for the Volt Switch, um, and that is going to break his sub, and that's gonna be nice, um, I'm actually glad that this is a subset and not a, um, Scarf set, because I think I'd have a little bit of a harder time dealing with the Scarf set, oh, okay, maybe not, um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Revenge here, just hoping to kill it, um, he switches out his homunculus, which I really hope is a full metal alchemist reference, but it might just be because it's uh, based on the homunculus. Um, anyway, switch out to Tachikoma as he goes for the Calm Mind. Now, um, I do carry the Dark Pulse, and I'm hoping that it's going to do a lot of damage because I am Specs, but I'm also really fearing this guy, and I'm also fearing that he'll be able to one-shot me now that he's at plus one. But I get the flinch hack, so I'm getting a lot of hacks in this match, let's be honest here. Um, but that's really quite excellent. I go for the Dark Pulse, uh, and it's going to hit his Karate Bug quite hard, because I get a crit. I mean, I've just gotten so much hacks in the last, like, three turns alone. Gonna go ahead and switch out Jirachi. Not that Jirachi can do anything to this guy, but I can wall him, and um, I think that he's banded. Uh, based on the fact that there's no life orb, there's no leftovers, and that he switches out right here. So that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Calm Mind on the switch. He sends out his Deoxys S, and I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, these things are pretty frail. I can take it out quite easily, now that I'm at plus one. The thing that I didn't realize was that Deoxys S isn't frail. Deoxys A is frail, Deoxys N is frail. That's, I mean, regular Deoxys is frail. Uh, Deoxys S actually has decent bulk, which is a, part, well, a large part of the justification of why it went uber, it's, I mean, if it was as frail as its other brothers, you know, it really would not be a problem. Uh, you know, people would run uh, Focus Sash and it would be killed in two shots and that would be it. Um, but the fact that it can actually take quite a few hits really does make it a lot more threatening. So here I get a defense drop, although that's not hacks, that's Jirachi. I mean, nothing that really comes from a Jirachi can be considered hacks because of uh, Serene Grace. So anyway, I get off another combine, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm at plus two. I can probably take a Fire Blast from this guy and, you know, not have it do a whole lot of damage, especially considering I am at basically full health. And I want to get off a little bit of damage against his um, Heatran, just in case he tries to sub or something. He goes for the Fire Blast, it hits pretty darn hard, and my Sajak isn't doing jack. So yeah, I'm gonna need to switch out, and I'm actually really glad he didn't go for the sub, because had he gone for the sub, I would have had a really hard time breaking it. Gonna switch into my Cosmic F, and, um, you know, he's gonna go for the sub this turn, and so that's okay for me, because what it means is that I was, you know, feeling a little bit conflicted about this, um, but now I have no conf conflictedness about it at all, I'm just gonna go for the rapid spin to blow away those rocks, because no one on my team likes rocks, and there's quite a few people who really, really, really do not like rocks, mainly, um, I've got one Sash Pokemon and two Pokemon that really need to be at full health for maximum effectiveness, that's, I've got Sturdy Caracosta and, um, Multiscale Dragonite. So anyway, um, while I was talking, I switched out. Or, uh, and I sent out Tachikoma, and here I'm just going to try to break his sub with a Volt Switch. He's going to go ahead and go for the Fire Blast. It's going to do a fair amount of damage to me, but uh, I am going to be able to break his sub here, and that is going to be quite nice, uh, because now hopefully I can revenge him. Um, so I send out HCHB, my Caracosta, and I think, well, he might sub... Uh, 
but I think uh, he's going to switch out here, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Shell Smash. He switches out his Conkledur, and so I'm like, well, that's not good for me, because this guy, I mean, I know he runs Mach Punch, I've seen the Mach Punch already, and, uh, you know, priority is this thing's real, real weakness. Uh, his light screen wears off, which is great because this is now a special set. He's gonna go ahead and mock punch me. I actually sort of take that hit quite well, especially considering I've already gotten off a shell smash. I go for the surf, and I'm hoping that it does enough damage to KO. It does not. I am really disappointed in this set. I was really hoping it would do more damage. I mean, I have gotten a shell smash off, but, and that was a stab move, but I don't know. I'm just really disappointed with my Karakasa set. I switch out into Jirachi, thinking that I can probably take a few hits. He gets a crit, but, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten so many crits against him that I really can't complain. And I know that I can take a few more hits. I'm going to go for the Wish here, as he goes ahead and goes for the Switch. He sends out uh, Salamence, and this is really not good for me, because I don't know that I have anyone who can take a an Outrage from this guy, uh, or even a Draco Meter, depending on what set he's running. I'm going to go ahead and send out Tachikoma, thinking that maybe he'll go for the Earthquake, um, not predicting my uh, my switch, and so I uh, send out Tachikoma, get all my health back, and that's going to be excellent. Um, I'm predicting him to switch, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Volt Switch, as I, if I recall correctly, and I do. I go for the Volt Switch, that's excellent, I've got the Switch Initiative, and I've taken down enough of his health that I'm hoping that HCHB can finish it off, although, you know... He, these guys usually run Earth Power, uh, I don't have the Solid Rock, I'm only at about 50% health, and I, yeah, he's going to outspeed. He does outspeed me, he's going to take out my Karakasta in one hit, and you know, really the answer is I need to take Karakasta off this team and replace it with a Pokemon that can really do some good, but I love Karakasta so much, I'm just not ready to give up on it. So I'm just not sure how I'm, I'm going to take out this Heatran, so I decided I'm going to taunt him, uh, he's going to predict the taunt, go for the Hidden Power, and now it's going to be my strategy. So this is Hidden Power Ice, it looks like. I'm down to 1 HP, and so now I'm going to get off my really awesome Endeavor strategy. Uh, I'm going to be faster because I'm just, you know, it's Jufro, he's really fast. Uh, going to go for the Endeavor, bring him down to uh, 1 HP. He's going to go for the Hidden Power to take out my Jufro. And that's really okay with me because I will be able to easily, 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 easily revenge this guy with a number of different pokes. I actually send out Tachikoma here. Um, I think I'm going to revenge with a uh, Volt Switch. Um, I was predicting maybe he'd switch. I mean, I don't have rocks up against him or anything. So I go for the Volt Switch. That is going to take him out. And so he's going to have the Switch initiative, but I don't care. I have taken down his Heatran, which is, which is a huge, huge threat against uh, my team. I send out Puff, my Magic Dragonite. He sends out his Karate Bug. It's going to hit me with a Bullet Punch. Uh, that's going to break my multi-scale. I go for the Fire Punch, and that is going to hit him, and that is going to KO. Um, I think I got a crit here, but there's no way that crit mattered. Um, so that's great for me. He's going to send out his Salamence here, and I know the Outrage is coming. Uh, I'm, I know I can't take it, and he is going to be faster and everything. So yeah, I send out Cosmic F as Death Fodder. Um, really nothing else I could do, so now I'm going to be able to get in a free switch into Jirachi, and I'm just going to hope that at 135 HP I can take an Outrage. And depending on this set, I probably can, and indeed I do. He gets the Confusion, which is so nice! Uh, so yeah, I've gotten off a Wish, and here I'm going to predict either he's going to go for the Earthquake, or he's going to go for the Outrage again, in which case he might hit himself in the confusion. I mean, either way, he could hit, hit himself in the confusion. He hits himself in the confusion. That is so excellent because now my multi scale is back and I'm going to be able to sweep this guy because I'm going to be able to get off a dragon dance and then hit him. I'll be faster than him. I'll be able to hit him with a um, dragon claw and that will be excellent. So he hits me with outrage. I survive with 85 HP. That is more than enough HP. Uh, and so I've gotten off my Dragon Dance, and now I will be able to KO this guy with a Dragon Claw. So bye-bye, Salamence. Dragonite versus Salamence. Dragon Knight freaking wins. Oh, so happy. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, that was a bit of hacks, but... Uh, okay, so anyway, he sends out his um, uh, Deoxys S, thinking that he would outspeed me and be able to KO. I have the extreme speed. It means that I can't run Roost, but it is worth it for just these situations. 
his homunculus is out, uh, Dragon Claw, he's not going to be able to take that. I'm, I'm sorry, he's just not going to be able to take that. And so I'm sweeping through his entire team, that's excellent. He's down to his Conkeldur, and uh, I, I actually calced it, I could survive a Mock Punch as long as he didn't crit. Uh, so yeah, I survived the hit, go for the Dragon Claw, take out his Conkeldur, and that is the match. So excellent game, uh, Google Knight. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.